When a simple financial forecast makes Wall Street stop and listen, it's because something truly extraordinary is happening. And that's exactly what happened when Deutsche Bank released a bold estimate about what's to come for Tesla. It's not just about profits or rising stock prices. It's about what's behind those numbers. Rumors coming from the Gigafactories point to a new car that could change the game. The so-called Model Q, or as many now prefer to call it, the long-awaited Model 2. But what's making investors scratch their heads isn't just the low price or the promise of volume. It's what's hidden inside, an engine that could change everything. This engine carries a name that is little known outside of the technical world, but is beginning to resonate as a synonym for revolution. Axial flux, unlike anything ever seen in mass production, this type of motor defies a century of electrical engineering conventions. For over 100 years, the industry has relied on radial flux motors, reliable, tested, and used everywhere from cars to airplanes. They work well, but have clear limitations in size, weight, and efficiency. What Elon Musk wants to do now is abandon all that for good and invest in a completely new architecture. Except, it's no small gamble. To date, no automaker has managed to mass-produce axial flux motors. Not just because they're difficult, but because they require a complete overhaul of how vehicles are designed and assembled. Tesla, however, seems willing to take the risk. And according to analysts, that risk may be precisely its trump card. For Wall Street, this isn't just about innovation. It's a move that could reduce costs, increase efficiency, and give Tesla a competitive edge no one else will be able to match anytime soon. Now, what really stands out about this story is the cost-benefit potential. The Model 2 promises to be an affordable car, possibly under $10,000, and that alone would be news enough. But the use of an axial motor something normally seen only in prototypes or niche vehicles, raises the suspicion that Elon Musk isn't just launching another model. He's trying to redefine the foundations of how electric vehicles are conceived. And this, of course, leaves investors glued to Tesla's movements. The behind-the-scenes action is intense. Aerial photographs of the factories, strange changes in the production schedule, and even internal leaks fuel the mystery. Interestingly, Tesla itself hasn't confirmed the vehicle's official name. Whether it will be Model Q, Model 2, or something else is irrelevant at the moment. The focus is on what it will carry inside. And that's precisely where the buzz grows. Such a different and advanced engine being tested in a popular vehicle isn't something you see every day. And even less so coming from a company that has already shaken up several industries. For many experts, this move represents more than technical innovation. It's also a shift in strategy. Instead of continually improving what already exists, Tesla is betting on a new paradigm, where the engine becomes the centerpiece of the project, not just one component among others. And this has profound implications, from body design to how the car handles on the road. It's no longer about adapting old technologies to the new market, but about creating something fully optimized for the future. Meanwhile, competitors are watching. No other traditional manufacturer has signaled any concrete progress in large-scale production of axial motors. This means that if Tesla can actually deliver the Model 2 with this technology, it will have an unprecedented advantage over the industry giants. And it's not just in the engineering field. The financial gains from using a more compact, efficient, and affordable motor could push electric car prices to unprecedented levels and thus dominate the entry-level segment of the global market. What's about to happen goes far beyond another Tesla launch. It could be the dawn of a new era in electric vehicles, an era where the traditional engine retires and gives way to a technology previously seen as experimental. Wall Street has gotten the message. The question now is whether the world is prepared for the impact of a small, affordable, and technologically disruptive car like the Model 2, and even more so for what's running behind its silent engine. The structure of an axial motor may seem strange at first glance, 
But once you understand how it works, everything starts to make sense. And its impact on industry is simply gigantic. Instead of the classic cylindrical shape of radial motors, with the magnetic field rotating around the shaft, the axial motor works as a kind of stacked magnetic disc. The electric current passes through a stator positioned between two parallel rotors, which in turn rotate in opposite directions. It's like two plates with a layer filled with coils in between. The result? Brutal torque, greater lightness, and eye-popping efficiency. This parallel arrangement of the magnetic field, rather than circular, has advantages that leap ahead compared to the traditional model. First, torque. It's generated more directly, with less energy loss, which ensures much faster responses. Then comes size. The axial motor can be up to 50% smaller and still deliver more power. This means it can be embedded in places previously unthinkable, such as directly in the wheels or within the chassis itself, without requiring absurd reconfigurations. And when it comes to compact vehicles, this is pure gold. Lightness also plays a key role. With less rotating mass and fewer components, the axial motor drastically reduces the overall weight of the propulsion system. This, in turn, directly impacts the vehicle's performance and range. After all, a lighter car consumes less energy to move. This detail, often overlooked by those who only look at battery numbers, could be the secret to making smaller electric cars go much further with much less. And, of course, without sacrificing power. Another point that highlights the axial motor is its thermal efficiency. Electric motors generate heat, and managing this heat effectively is one of the biggest technical challenges. The axial motor's flat design, with its larger exposed surface area, allows for more even heat dissipation. This means it can operate for longer at high performance, without the risk of overheating, eliminating the need for complex and cumbersome cooling systems. And when you think on a larger scale, every simplified part represents savings. Furthermore, this type of motor eliminates some of the mechanical friction that exists in traditional systems. Less friction means less wear and tear over time, which translates directly into greater durability. For the average consumer, this means less maintenance, fewer visits to the repair shop, and more time on the road. It's the kind of advantage that doesn't appear in the commercial, but makes all the difference in the buyer's wallet. In the long run, it could be the factor that convinces even skeptics to make the transition to electric vehicles. The axial motor also offers impressive power density. In some tests conducted by companies like the British company Yasa, a benchmark in this type of engineering, it reached 15 kilodollars per kilogram. This is almost double what traditional radial motors can deliver. In practical terms, this means the car can accelerate much faster while still keeping energy consumption under control. And all this in a component that fits in the palm of your hand, depending on the application. It's a true generational leap within the same technology. Perhaps the most surprising aspect is the freedom this engine gives engineers. With a more compact and flexible package, Vehicle designers can think about cars in completely new ways. There's no longer a need to shape the car around a large mid-engine. Now, the engine can adapt to the car, and this opens up a world of possibilities for design, comfort, and safety. Lower, roomier, more aerodynamic, and even more beautiful cars can emerge simply because of this change in the vehicle's mechanical heart. Behind all these technical advantages, lies the burning question. Why hasn't anyone done this before? The answer is simple, because it wasn't feasible. Producing axial motors on a large scale required a level of precision, materials, and automation that are only now accessible. Tesla, with its obsession with innovation and vertical control of production, appears to be the first to find the balance between technology, cost, and scale. And if it can truly achieve this with the Model 2, it will not only be launching a new car, but also ushering in a new generation of electric propulsion. The ability to integrate motors directly into the wheels changes everything we understand about automotive design. This is because, 
By eliminating the traditional centralized powertrain, space is created in the center of the car. Space previously occupied by axles, differentials, and other bulky components. In the Model 2, each wheel can have its own axial motor, meaning the chassis can be completely reimagined. This structural freedom brings impressive benefits, such as a flatter floor, a more spacious interior, and weight redistribution that improves stability without increasing the vehicle's size. With the engine moving to the extremities, the car's center of gravity also shifts, and this makes all the difference. The lower the weight distribution, the firmer and more controlled the car feels, especially on curves and in emergency situations. This change not only improves handling, but also increases safety, as it reduces the risk of rollovers and improves performance under sudden braking. All this in a vehicle that, at first glance, may seem like just another affordable city hatchback. Another important point is the versatility of use offered by this new layout. By allowing individual control of each wheel, the car gains capabilities previously exclusive to much more expensive models. Torque vectoring, the ability to distribute power independently to each side of the car, becomes a basic feature. In tight corners, slippery terrain, or low-speed maneuvers, this precise response ensures a safer, smoother, and even more fun drive. The car literally thinks about how to move more intelligently, and it doesn't stop there. With independent motors, the regenerative braking system also takes things to the next level. Each wheel can act as an individual generator, recovering energy more effectively with each deceleration. This increases the system's efficiency and reduces wear on conventional brakes, which are then used less frequently. In urban environments, with many traffic lights and constant stops, this kind of efficiency can make a huge difference in the car's overall range. The absence of a mid-engine also allows for a complete reorganization of the interior space. Without a central tunnel, the car's floor can be lowered and leveled, enhancing the feeling of spaciousness and comfort. Even in a compact model like the Model 2, this translates into more legroom, more comfort in the rear seats, and even greater freedom in the positioning of batteries and electronic components. It's one of those benefits you don't see in the specs, but you feel in everyday life. This new configuration also has a direct impact on vehicle production and assembly. By simplifying the mechanical structure and reducing the number of interconnected components, manufacturing becomes faster and less prone to errors. Each module, motor, suspension, battery, can be assembled independently and then integrated efficiently. This reduces production costs and can facilitate maintenance throughout the vehicle's lifespan. After all, less complexity generally means fewer problems. And when it comes to urban mobility, every inch counts. The in-wheel motor allows the car's front end to be shortened, eliminating the need for a motorized nose. This improves the turning radius, makes parking easier, and can make the car more agile in traffic. It also frees up space for larger crumple zones, which absorb impact in the event of a collision. In other words, the Model 2 can be simultaneously smaller on the outside, roomier on the inside, and even safer, a combination few vehicles can deliver. For daily drivers, the practical advantages are clear. Less mechanical noise, more control in corners, better use of space, and a cleaner appearance. But for those observing the industry from the outside, what's happening is much bigger. It's a structural change in the way cars are designed, assembled, and even perceived. By placing the engine where no one else has, Tesla may have nailed the formula for a car of the future. A future that fits into any space, but occupies a huge space in the electric mobility revolution. To support this structural reconfiguration, Tesla also needed to rethink the Model 2's powertrain. And that's where the so-called pancake battery came in. The idea is simple yet powerful. Transform the battery into an integral part of the car's structure. Instead of a bulky pack fitted into the chassis, the 4680 cells are arranged in a flat, compressed formation that replaces the vehicle's floor. 
This eliminates the need for a traditional metal frame, reducing weight, increasing rigidity, and opening up new design possibilities. This pancake-shaped structure is the perfect complement to the in-wheel axial motor. Together, these two innovations create a level, rigid, and lightweight chassis, an ideal foundation for compact vehicles that demand agility without sacrificing safety. The horizontal distribution of the cells also improves heat dissipation, which is essential for maintaining system stability under extreme conditions. And all this without adding complexity to the design. In fact, the system simplifies manufacturing and can speed up assembly lines. But it's in the safety department that the structural battery truly shines. By integrating the cells directly into the car's structure, it creates a solid impact barrier that better absorbs collision energy and protects occupants. It's as if the battery itself serves as a shield, reinforcing vulnerable areas without the need for additional reinforcements. For a small car like the Model 2, this is vital. After all, offering high-level protection in an affordable vehicle is one of the industry's biggest challenges. This approach also benefits the vehicle's center of gravity. With the weight of the batteries evenly distributed across the floor, the car stays more firmly on the ground, improving stability during cornering and braking. This low and wide configuration is especially useful in urban settings, where emergency braking and quick swerves are common. Handling becomes more precise, and the driver feels more confident even at higher speeds. Another interesting development is how Tesla is integrating cooling into the system. So-called Liquid Cooling 2.0 is an evolution of traditional systems, with liquid channels running not only through the battery, but also through the in-wheel motors. This creates a smart thermal grid that regulates temperature locally, preventing overheating even in high-demand situations such as steep climbs or intense acceleration. And most impressively, all of this is achieved without increasing the car's overall volume or weight. The synergy between the cooling system and the structural battery drastically reduces the need for auxiliary components. Extra radiators, pipes, and pumps are simply no longer necessary in many cases, resulting in a leaner, more maintainable design. Furthermore, fewer parts means fewer points of failure, a benefit that translates into greater reliability and a longer lifespan for the system as a whole. And in an entry-level car, reliability is the kind of value that builds customer loyalty. With this system, Tesla achieves something that seems contradictory at first glance, increasing performance while simplifying engineering. Typically, performance gains come with increased complexity, but here the opposite is true. The secret lies in designing each component to perform multiple functions, like the battery, which also doubles as a structure and heat sink. This is engineering efficiency at its highest level, and it's no exaggeration to say it could become the new industry standard. Perhaps Tesla's greatest achievement in this project is fitting all of this into a car designed for the general public. Instead of saving these technologies for premium models, the company seems determined to debut them in its most affordable vehicle. And this isn't just bold, it's strategic. By democratizing access to a cutting-edge platform, the brand changes the rules of the game. And by all indications, the Model 2 will be much more than a budget car. It will be the car that forced the entire industry to reinvent itself from scratch. In addition to rethinking vehicle architecture and how energy is stored, Tesla decided to tackle another critical issue with electric motors. Invisible noise. Yes. EVs are already quieter than combustion engine cars, 